All right, so it is day number two, and as you guys can tell, I am in a completely different area. Uh, the area that I was currently working in, actually yesterday, was just, it was just way too small, and I had so much junk everywhere, and stuff was falling, and I was like, I need to find a better spot. And so uh, I decided to set up in here in my old uh, comic book area, whole nine yards. So I'm going to show you guys kind of sort of what, got, what I got going on. So this is the ColecoVision. I got it hooked up to the TV over here. Um, so it's ready to go. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit n number one. So this is the game. Now I ended up getting the pedal to actually work. I don't know how well you guys can see it. but uh, So if I go and I push the pedal... You can hear it, it speeds up, so the pedal works perfect. So I ended up fixing that, got that good to go. But I'm still having an issue with the steering wheel. If I get the steering wheel part in here and I start turning it to the left, I'll try to do that here. I got I apologize for the microphone setup here too. But if I basically sit here, I don't know if I can do it. I start messing, well, never mind. I gotta fix the battery leads anyway. So anyway, when I mess with this and I turn it to the left, the car will jitter to the to the left. Okay, it's still not perfect, but hey, it's recognizing and it's going to the left. But then when I tell it to go to the right, it continues to go to the left. And I'm wondering if it's this little piece, and I'll get this camera going here and show you that little piece. I looked up some information on the internet, and I did not find a whole lot. There was only a teeny tiny little bit of information from like Atari age. And they somebody said it could possibly be this little piece right here, or it could actually be the battery connectors. You know where you plug the C batteries in? They said that's a possibility that that is all messed up and screwed up. So <laughs> I'm going to try to clean up the battery connectors get everything squared away and hopefully we can get it to work if if I do the battery thing and it doesn't work I've already tried cleaning this little thing and it doesn't work then I think it's this little piece they called it like the photo sensor something it's some sort of a sensor I have no idea where you'd be able to pick stuff like that up because in um, Atari age when people were talking somebody said that they wanted to replace that sensor and they said they had a heck of a time finding it so who knows, uh, but anyway, let's get this camera going and we'll try to figure it out. All right, so what I was talking earlier about, there's this weird little piece, and it's actually on here. This is what I was talking about. This right here says 10, 10K. Um, on Atari age, somebody was talking about it being a 5K. Theirs said 5K, this says 10K. I am wondering if this little piece right here is what has gone bad. That might be the piece that actually went bad. I am hoping it's still good, but I don't know. Like I said, I turn it to the left, the car will move to the left, but then when I turn the wheel to the right, he still goes to the left, and that's only after jittering it around and stuff. But uh, anyway, i got to fix the battery leads because when I was messing with it, uh, it actually snapped off. So there's a part on right here where I soldered it. The solder didn't break. It was before the soldering. So my soldering job was pretty good. It was actually the part before that that broke, so that irritated me. So I got to re-solder that. And I was even debating on just unsoldering it from here, but yeah, you can't. Get all that old solder out of there. So now I'm going to try to unsolder this. What the heck? What? It just come out. Pop that out of the way, make it a little bit easier. Now, I have to attempt to sit here and melt the solder a little bit. Nice! And then try to push this through. But everything is so flippy floppy over here. It's like, I just need it to stay put. Like, why? Why are you not pulling through? And now this one ripped out. That's super irritating. Like I said, somebody else, like I said last night, somebody else like came in here and just like destroyed all the stuff on here. Like all these wires are all chewed up. Okay. Now I gotta unsolder all this.
here's where it's like I gotta somehow hold this, hold this, push, get that lined up, and then push that through. Okay, there we go. Jeez. I was thinking, man, like I gotta get this lined up. Okay. <sighs> so it looks like I finally got the power um, soldered in there. I don't think they're mixed. We can check the continuity. Because you can kind of sort, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. But I'm going to red to red. And you can see it's obviously making a good connection. Everything's fine. And if I touch blue, Hmm. It's acting like it's making a connection. Red to red, yes. Red to blue should be no. But when I was touch, yeah, right here when I'm touching blue, it's like it's trying to establish a connection. All right. So that should be fine. I don't know why it does that. When I power it on, it does that right away, but if I hit reset, then it quits making that noise. All right, so here's what I'm gonna kinda show you guys what's going on. So like I said, push number one, and there you go. Works perfectly fine. So now what I'm gonna do, power that off, and we're gonna put the batteries back in here. And this is what I was wondering, if they wanted me to clean, if they wanted me to clean the leads in here, Somebody was talking about they cleaned out the battery leads, and then it worked perfectly fine after that. I don't know if it's that simple with this, because the battery leads are not corroded. So now we'll power this on. Okay, just making sure I can spin that. Loading. So the ColecoVision had like a really bad loading time. It's pretty funny. All right. So if I take this, two, one. All right. It slowly drifts to the right. I think it's just, you know, if I move to the left, it's going to the left. But if I move to the right, it goes to the right. And it just constantly wants to go to the left. And I don't, I don't understand why. I don't know why it wants to constantly go to the left simple it could be something as simple as cleaning the battery contacts but they're not corroded or rusted or anything so they don't look bad my main concern is this sensor and mine says 10k and it says io on there i don't know if that means input output oh it's a gpio <laughs> stupid i don't know what that is that's what's going to make me mad if the sensor itself is bad then I need to try to find another sensor. And it's like doing all this work to try to get this going when I could go on eBay and just order one brand new for like 40 bucks. I found one for like 20, but I don't know, it was from like a sketchy website. So if I really wanted to, I could just get it. I found one on eBay complete in the box for 80 bucks. It's like, would it be worth it to do that? Because like I'm destroying this. Like I had to tear that all apart and do a really shoddy wiring job so I would have to order a new connector since I don't have one. It's like doing stuff like this would be worth it if I was like at the radio station where you have all these components. Like if I brought the radio station home but I don't own the radio station so I can't like just go there and steal their stuff. So it's like I have to have all these electrical components. If I owned a business where I did this for a living, then yeah, sure, no problem. I'd fix my own personal stuff, no problem, because I already have all the stuff. But it's like, I don't have like the capacitors and the resistors and, and the diodes and all this crazy stuff to fix it. So I'd have to go online and try to order this stuff. And it's like, by the time I spend all that time and spend all that money, it's like, well, you could just say, screw it. Uh, throw this in my parts bin and then just buy another one and then that way if something like the pedal goes bad we'll just replace the pedal so I'm gonna try cleaning up the battery contacts and we'll go from there I guess mmm smells good 
It's like going to the dentist. Come on. So I was just thinking, there shouldn't be any continuity between blue and red on the actual board itself. So there better not be. But it's reading that there is. And I don't know if that's a weird thing. Oh my gosh, because now I'm curious. Do I have to unsolder this and then see if there's still continuity between those two? And I don't want to cut anymore. I don't want to solder anymore. I don't want to cut anymore. i got to go to work here in a little bit. All right, well, screw it. I'm just going to unsolder these. Oh my gosh. And there's nothing... Uh, why? Why is there continuity between them? They're, they're not connected. It's almost like me saying, okay, I'm going to touch these two together. See, they're connected. Okay, fine. Okay, here they are. Oh, but they're still connected. They're not. There's nothing in here connecting it. It's like I'm... I want to just take this to the radio station now and ask Mark and be like, what's up with this? Maybe he would have it. Maybe it's like something simple. He'd be like, oh yeah, you just got to do this. Duh. And it's like, it's not even an amazing connection. You, you like, you got to like move it around. I think I will. I think I'll bring this in and be like, Mark, why is it doing this? There shouldn't be a connection. He'll just be like, oh, well, you know, there's, there's probably a piece of solder in there. Where is the solder? There is no solder in here connecting these two together. I think I'm going to bring this in and have Mark look at it. Like, I don't think he'll have an answer either. He'll just kind of laugh about it. And then I'll, that'll make me even more mad. So, all right. Oh, man. I'm going to take a break and come back later on. All right, so I just got back from the radio station, had to go to town, do this, do that, and so I'm pretty tired and wore out. I just want to hurry up and get this done. So I ended up bringing this over to Mark over at the radio station. I'm like, hey, what do you think of this nonsensical hickory dickory dock? Uh, positive and negative having uh, continuity. He didn't seem too concerned about that. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, they're whatever. They're probably connected somewhere on the board. So that's not what he was actually concerned about. He said what he was thinking it is, because he's seen this stuff before. Like, as soon as I showed this to him, he's like, oh, yeah, it's one of those photo sensor things. Oh, it's got one of this. That's pretty neat. So he, he's seen this kind of stuff before. He was thinking it is this. This little sensor piece is what he was thinking it is. But he said it, it might not even be a thing where I need to replace it. It could be something as simple because he was looking at it, and he's like, boy, you know, that looks pretty dirty down there. So he was saying, get my soldering iron and just heat up. Uh, all the solder spots. It kind of let the solder resync back in there and hopefully establish a better connection. I've seen that before too where some things for some reason just aren't working and you just like reheat up the solder and suddenly it works good. So I, I guess I'll try that for right now. Worst comes to worst, I'm going to pop this off, scrub it and just go to town and then try to get it back in there. Another stupid thing I was talking about was uh, trying to get continuity by touching the actual traces. I thought traces uh, conducted electricity. Apparently it's not the top of the trace. This green stuff right here is almost like a shield or something. Pretty new experience for me. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to right now try to reheat these up, get a better connection established. Worst comes to worst, I'll pop it, clean that all out, try it again and then he made mention of actually checking continuity with the pins because i never thought about this before on the coleco vision actually i'm going to switch cameras here to make it a little bit easier but so like if you look at the coleco vision the pins there's um there's actually nine pin holes right there so there's nine connectors but it's not using nine it's only using five we got orange brown white blue and gray 
So out of the nine pins, it's only using five. And so he was saying, check continuity between uh, the pins on here and there and uh, make sure that there's no broken wire because he was saying there could be a busted wire in here. So if nothing works, if there's continuity with the connector and it really seems like the sensor's bad, well then that's gonna be the thing. The sensor's gonna be bad. And then I'll have to go online and see if I can order a new one. And if they're expensive, which I almost assume weird stuff like this would be, then I'll just say screw it and buy another steering wheel. So without further ado, let's get to soldering. These six pins right here, they're looking pretty crusty and pretty dirty. That's what he was saying. Unsolder, put my soldering iron on there, remelt the solder, and uh, try to get it all cleaned up and squared away. And hopefully just remelting that solder will actually fix it. So we'll give that a shot. I wonder if that's just flux. Because it is looking pretty dirty. But I'm wondering if it's just the old flux that's on there. Well, I just reseated it. So I reseated that. Now I'm going to check continuity with the pins. <sighs> I don't know what pin would be what. So we're going to start with number one. So I'm going to go at the top. Because right here it says top. And I'm going to start with... Whoa. The heck? Why'd that push it now? Holy smoke. What, now this is going to break on me? Look at this garbage. <clears throat> See, I'm not sure how far in these pins are now. Because I don't know if I can just stick this thing in there. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I can't just do this. I don't think you can these holes in here are extremely small and I can't just do that. <sighs> the only other thing I could think of is somehow get a wire. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is take this, strip this wire, strip this on both ends, get that end twisted, try to get this end twisted, and then I'll try to tin it, and then I'm going to tin this up so it'll fit into the hole of this pin connector without so I don't have to worry about the stupid thing fraying actually that would be a good thing to hold it there you go all oh, that is smooth Smooth as goose grease, as Chris K, the film guy, would say. Just like goose grease. All right, so now I'm going to take this, stick this down into there. That should be making a connection. So now I can touch that to that. And now I'll try to touch orange. Nothing. Orange, purple, white, blue, gray, nothing. And I don't even, well, I don't even know if that was in there all the way. Maybe they're only using the bottom ones. So basically what I'm doing, since obviously I'm doing all this off camera, I'm taking this and sticking it into one of these holes. And then holding this, then touching this, and hopefully trying to keep this from popping out, and then go through and touch orange, purple. Ooh, I'm getting something. So I believe this is the white pen. So that's the white pin. Okay, so we got white, gray, skip one, blue. 
and this is orange so yeah so it's all coming through and then this sh this one should be white so the purple one is bad so apparently the purple one is bad now so I'm not getting any continuity with purple so now is the plug shot. So now I think I'm gonna have to splice this. So now I'm gonna have to cut this to figure out why I'm not getting any connection with purple. They obviously have purple in there. They have it tied into the motherboard. It should be working. Fine, heat it up and oh my gosh, I don't wanna do this. Cause that's exactly what Mark said. Mark was saying something's like one of these could be messed up and it could be like in here somewhere. <sighs> okay, this is gonna be fun. Cause I don't know where it could be a bad connection. Could it be a bad connection in right here? All right, well, I guess the thing I don't wanna do, which is what I'm gonna have to do, is cut this and figure out why the purple one is not coming through. See, and you can't just take these off. Oh my gosh. All right, so now what I'm going to do is take the one that's connected to the board and expose these wires. Why don't you get some better tools? Well, I plan on it now after this. Come on. Holy smoke. All right, so we got that off. I got to get the paper off of here now. All right, so this is like doing... Cat 6 or Cat 5 network cable, that's what this reminds me of. Alright, so now we got purple going to purple. And nothing. I'm not getting anything. Is it really broke in there now? So somewhere in here it's broke. Well, just to play, see if I'm, how stupid I am, I'm gonna do orange, and then go orange to orange, because that should work. And I keep, I apologize for this camera work. Well, orange works, so purple's not working. I even skipped touching it on here and just went directly to the wire and it's not making a connection. And I see, ain't getting jack diddly. So somewhere in here is a broken purple wire. This sucks because I don't know where it could be. It could be right in here. I don't know, somewhere in this long cable, the purple wire is broke. And I don't know where to, where it would be at. The only thing I could think of doing now, because now what I need to do is take this and make sure that the purple is coming through on one of these ports. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is check continuity between this purple wire and see if I can't, well, whatever, I'll do this. So I'll go to the fourth pin. I'll go to the third pin on here. Try to touch it to purple. Okay, so there's continuity. So we got, uh, I can't remember, white, gray, purple, blue, and then orange is way up here in the top corner. So these one, two, three, four. These first four pins aren't actually used. So I have continuity with purple on here now. So now the question is where is the break in this cable? Because like I said, I'm not getting any continuity now. Holy smoke. Um, I'm gonna have to take a break here and try to figure this out. All right, so I did have an idea. It just kind of occurred to me. I thought, well, wait a minute. Why not? What if I use a uh, network cable? We've had to do stuff like this at the radio station, splice stuff together. 
this is Cat 5E. And I thought, well, wait a minute, maybe I can just kind of mod my own controller cable. So what I'm going to do is snip these off. This is an RJ45 connector. If you hear a bunch of nerds going, you know, RJ45, that's what they're talking about. Basically an Ethernet connector. So that's RJ45. I'll just snip that off, and then I'll just, yeah, use the wires for this. Because there's enough of them in here. So yeah, this only uses five, and this has eight. So we're going to do that. That's one thing I love about like Cat5, Cat6 cables, that usually it's a lot more uh, easier to get the this stuff off. And then these are going to be all twisted, So because we make a lot of Cat5 cable over at the radio station, so this is going to be a lot of twisting and untwisting. So usually what you got to do is twist them like this. And orange, blue, white, and we don't have white. So we got orange will be going to orange, blue will be going to blue. So then what I'm going to have to do, well brown I'm going to use for purple. I guess gray and white are closer to white so I should use the white, blue, and white, green maybe. They'll do that. Get out of the way. We'll go with these five. And then these other ones can get snipped because we don't need them. White, green will be white. Nice. And then white, blue will be gray. Because now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to take this, since I know there's a bad connection in here, unsolder these from here and then solder them back in. But I need to make sure, obviously, they're going to the right spot. So we'd have orange, purple, I need to write this down. So I'm going to write this down, orange, purple, white, blue, and gray. Orange, purple, white, blue, gray. And then I'm just going to have one really long gray uh, ColecoVision Expansion Module 2 uh, cable cord. Hickory dickory dock with a side of buck buck. Okay, so here we go. Time to wire in some Cat5 cable. All right, so now I'm gonna have to tin all this, and then I'll check continuity to make sure there's nothing wrong with the Cat5 cable. I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with it. Get some flux. Not the flux capacitor. I'm gonna get some flux here on the purple. Okay, go to the next one. Go to the next one. Get you up in there a little bit more. There you go. And now I'm going to attempt to tin this. Or not tin it. Get heat it up so the solder melts. Solder, and that should be good. Okay. All right, so we got white, blue, blue, white, green would be next, because that should be white. Well, I, I think I got it. Um, now we can test the other end to make sure there's actual continuity. So I got this all wired up. Of course, I'm going to snip those and, and clean that up as best as I can, even though this whole thing is a big, giant mess. Um, let's go like this. Drop the vernacular. Vernacular? That's a doiby. And I'm really, really hoping that after all this work, <clears throat> I can actually get it to work. Because, you know, that would be such an awesome concept. You know, what a concept that I'm actually putting in all this work to get this going, and it turns out it actually works. That would be awesome. And I don't care if the cables are all long like that. I'll just... I don't care if the exposed wires are that long, I'll just tie them up and then put a lot of electrical tape on there. One thing I wish I had, I'm pretty sure you can still buy it. I remember when I was a kid, my dad used to have liquid tape. It was just like this paint, and you paint it on, it like all of a sudden hardened. It was like cement. Like people have liquid cement and stuff like that, and this stuff was called liquid tape. Which is pretty awesome. And it was what it was, it was tape.
but in liquid form and then you painted it on and then it dried and turned into tape. Fun. Fun. This isn't fun, this is ridiculous. So now this should be connected. It's like, oh, you're done, right? No, I'm not. Because remember the nonsense I said about this? So I'm still, just for safety, I'm going to re-tap these. I, I, can't, I don't know what they actually... I don't know what they actually call it. Like an audio recorder. I don't know what they actually call doing that. It's like re-tapping the solder to make it re-sit better. So I'll just try that. Didn't I already do this earlier? I don't even know if I did. Where did these come off at? Oh my gosh, now I need to go through because I never paid attention to where these were tied into. These just decided to be cute and break off. These two came loose right here. But now I have to guess which one's black and which one's red. After looking, this one looks like it's going here and then going right directly to the board. I mean, I could try it. What's it matter? I mean, it's not like anything's going to blow, right? Because this is basically, this is just for the uh, the foot pedal. So if I wire them backwards, nothing. it's not like it's going to fry anything. If I wire it backwards, it's, it's not going to work properly. I'm assuming red is number six and... Black will be number seven. All right. So for some reason, I don't understand why. It's like my soldering iron is like not hot anymore. I mean, it's hot. Like if I touch, I'm gonna burn myself. But when I touch it on here, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four. It's like holy smoke. Why are you taking so long? Because I need it to melt, and then I need to pull this through. But it won't... I'm going to sit here and fall asleep before this melts the solder. See, this is what I mean. Like, this is, now it's just turning into a waste of time, because I don't understand why it's doing that. I don't understand why suddenly that just like decides it's not going to work anymore. But I've had weird experiences like that too where I've had soldering guns uh, work perfectly fine and then all of a sudden halfway through a project it's like, mm, no, I'm just not going to heat up properly anymore and we're going to fight you the whole time. Do does, does the tips get bad or what? What the heck is going on? Well, for now, I think I'm going to take a break. I need to clean all this up, go to bed. I'll come back tomorrow and try to start this whole situation over, and I'm going to replace that stupid tip on the soldering gun because this is getting out of hand, and this is getting ridiculous now. Now it's just turning into one of those fiascos where just nothing is going to work. Like, oh, okay, yeah, take it, uh, take your soldering iron and um, yeah, put it right there, and it, it should melt. It's not. It's not doing anything now. So I'm going to come back. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so this is, I believe, maybe day number three. I can't remember. Right now it's Tuesday. I don't even know when I started this. I might have started this Sunday, I don't know. So, basically what I did now is I just went through and I did a little bit of work without actually recording anything. Because last time, well, for me last night, for you, a few seconds ago or whatever, um, I was having an issue with my soldering iron where it just was not soldering. And so I ended up taking out the tip. So this is the tip. It's uh, pretty dirty, pretty crummy. I looked up a little bit of information to try to figure out why. And uh, there is a couple of things. Some people said, obviously, if the heat isn't hot enough, it's not going to melt the solder. 
I'm thinking, well, that's not it because this thing can go up to 450 degrees apparently. You can actually adjust the temperature on it. So it should have nothing to do with the heat. And then somebody else, so I assumed it had something to do with the tip. And then somebody else said, actually, if you use too much heat, um, and depending on what you're doing, you could actually oxidize the tip, and it actually makes soldering almost impossible. So that's pretty much what happened here. So I think the tip got oxidized. Um, I just need to clean that up, get some alcohol or something else, and kind of, because I don't want to buff it out. People said don't use sandpaper or anything like that. So to make the long story short, I replaced the tip, and that went a lot more smoothly. So I ended up um, resoldering the battery leads back in. And I uh, checked the continuity on that, so the battery was back in, everything was good to go, so let's test it and find out. So I got everything put back in here. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing now is to test it and try it out. And like I said, I don't get that because if you hit reset, then it cleans it up. So I don't know what's up with that sound. It could be just because it's an HD TV. Who knows? All right, we're going to go to skill level one, and we're going to test the pedal to make sure the pedal works. All right, the pedal works. Now, why is it doing that? It's acting like it's just running hot the whole time. I bet you because I soldered them backwards, I just remembered, I, I wasn't sure which lead went into which port. And I think I might have soldered that backwards. Yeah, it's automatically going. Well, let's test the steering wheel. Look at that. Look at that. Lo and behold, it actually works. Holy smoke in a hand basket. And I don't have it fully connected yet, so it still might even make a better connection, but I can't believe this. I actually got it to work. I can actually dodge vehicles. This is crazy. All right, so like I said, this absolutely blew my mind. Um, so the main issue, like I said, I was thinking, it could have been that little sensor. That was my main concern, is thinking, oh crap, what if it's the actual sensor? And then... Uh, like I said, Mark told me, you know, just re, I don't even know what the word for it is, but just reseat the solder. Just take your soldering iron, touch it to the solder, remelt it in there, make a better contact. I checked the continuity on those. It seemed like they were good. And then all of a sudden he mentioned the cable. I didn't even think about that, the actual uh, cable that plugs into the console. I didn't think about doing that. So, of course, I check it, and what happens? The purple wire is not connected one wire out of the five that they use the one of them did not connect so then i put cat 5e cable in here and reseat everything and it works works perfect so the only issue here is that it's a janky mess like this is ridiculous because i don't have an extra ts connector so this is crazy i gotta clean all this up and put the, put all this back together but yeah, basically it's actually done. So, with the exception of uh, rewiring the foot switch, swap those around, and just uh, cleaning everything up. But wow, like I said, I, I did not think it was going to work. I thought for a fact that the sensor itself was going to be shot. But yeah, looks like it works. So, <laughs> awesome. 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 All right, so just to kind of let you guys see, so I did end up switching the leads for the foot pedal. And there you go, it actually works. So, I got the steering wheel working and I got the pedal working, so definitely a lot of work. I did not expect it to be this long, I did not expect it to take this long, and I did not expect it to be that much work. Time to clean this up, put it away, and finally get to use it for one game only and then put it away and be done with it forever. <sighs> Terrible. Alright, so here's the final product of what I made. So I finally got the foot switch all fixed up. 
uh, like I said, a really bad TS connector going on, and uh, that's how the ColecoVision controller fits in there because you're supposed to use it to switch gears. So let's power this up and play it for a teeny tiny bit. What do you say? All right, so we're going to go with game number one. Skill, level one. Getting ready to do this, so let's test out the pedal. Switching gears works too, which is crazy. I wonder if you only have two gears. Look at that. Yeah, that's crazy that this actually works. Uh-oh. Oil slick. That's crazy. It's like we got a hill coming up. Game over. Game over, you lost. That was the very first time I ever played this game, too. That's awesome. Oh, that is so sick that I got it working, though. Sweet.